I'm Forrest. I am a diachronic science fiction communications agent. Um, and I'm hoping that uh, tonight we time travel together and that we embrace change together and that we ensure that black lives matter together. Um, and so this, I hope, can be an elegy uh, for George Floyd. Um, so a eulogy is something that um, we do to celebrate somebody's life. And um, I didn't know uh, George Floyd. And, uh, but an elegy is a moment for serious reflection and thought. Um, so I hope that we can give that to his life um, and to black lives. And, um, and so I call these theopoetic reflections. Um, so our, we're going to do this a little bit um, in the form of a church setting. Um, and so I hope that uh, all of those who are secular here forgive me for that. Um, but our first hymn or my first poem is titled Flood for Floyd. We choose to ignore our mental health. Instead, we hoarded our personal wealth, accumulating with nothing more than Satan. Black lives not fungible, there's no debating. The flood is coming for Floyd, free to soil. Thankful for everyone in the streets, you anointed. Can they breathe? Can they breathe? The ocean is persistent in your being. Move with the moon and find the love at the base of it. Vibrations, the wavelength of it. I love you to the moon and back, been saying it. More than white hatred, find yourself out the matrix. You're encased in. Here the ancient, here the ancestors ancient. Here the kin adjacent, a nation. No more complacent, we impatient. Break out of black debasement. We replacing old hatreds with the love feeling. Can you feel that? The fire, the motivation, the riot. We with that, no need to film the revolution, you got that? A gay with Gil Scott, you can hear that. Fuck 12, we dog tag that. We dog tag that. Fuck 12, we dog tag that. Cause we don't gotta get guns out of the streets. We gotta get guns out of the hands of the police. Joe Way already said they damaging and hurting. They were founded as slave patrols, I'm certain. There's no way to reform racist institutions. We gotta start from scratch, kick the same castle over. Community defense programs with that. Promote intersectionality, homegrown intentionality. Burn they fat stacks and the oligarchy. And my friends, do you know your alphabet? A-C-A-B, grab your A-R and come with me. We for caring community. The tears fall from my cheeks, nothing new for me. I can't watch another damn video. I won't partake in this racist lynching show. 19 people stand around to watch and film. A key component of the American psychosis. A neurosis for black blood soaking in the pavement. We white liberals were trained to say we hate it, but we bathe in it. Choking on in the six o'clock news. I can't wait to see the next victim as we say prayers for our food. Nothing different than a hundred years ago. Or a hundred before that, cheers and toast, sitting around the roast, an absurd human sacrifice show, they gloat, I'm morose, I wanna wear mazel tov as clothes, soak up the oil, the dose, on the screams I choke, I refuse to elope, not going down that road, a white picket fence and stacks of dough, instead be magical, need each other, yes we need to remember how to need each other, bake bread together, Mick Jenkins already said to drink more water, my stomach is hungry, I've been starving, consuming death often, won't help you in a coffin, I hope the chauvinist stalls, and I'm glad they block in the food delivery cars, cause if George don't need breath, then I guess you don't need breath either, and to those three good cops standing around, as a black man in the jungle drowns, I hope the rest of your life is profound, and by profound, I hope you see the light when you enter the ground, and I hope you see the soil soon Like the precincts, y'all be burning down This a rageful morning tune Black lives matter, not blue I'm a white traitor, not a self-hater A love relater and a defense retaliator I'm praying that we do more, something greater A loving world recreator Because you see, they arrested and injured thousands To avoid arresting four In the spirit of justice, I'm asking y'all Whose lives do you mourn? In the spirit of justice, I'm asking y'all, whose lives do you mourn? So 
Our first gospel reading today is from one of my favorite books, um, Emergent Strategy by Adrienne Marie Brown. And in it, um, she compiled some wisdom passed on to us from black feminist Octavia Butler, specifically her book, Parable of the Sower. And so I'm just going to read some sections of that very briefly. God is change. All successful life is adaptable, opportunistic, tenacious, interconnected, and fecund. Understand this. Use it. Shape God. God is change. And in the end, God prevails, but God doesn't exist, but God exists to be shaped. It isn't enough for us to just survive, limping along, playing business as usual while things get worse and worse. There has to be more that we can do, a better destiny that we can shape, another place, another way. So I hope that these words this deep understanding that God is change, that God exists for us to shape, will guide our service tonight together. And so our second hymn is titled, Dill. Using my lyrical skill to incite political will so we can ignite those living up on Capitol Hill. So I'm putting on for AOC cause she represents the best in me. A bright star for us to join in the night sky. A dark future appears on the horizon. They say the sky's the limit, but let's get back to earth. We was all born here, I swear it's not a curse. We all got so much fear, it's got us in a hearse. So let's lurch off the sandbank and then outflank all the porous evil that seeped inside our minds. We can overcome, we can undo what's been done. End accumulation and just get back to fun. And fungibility, get back to fun, so what's your deal? Let's get some deal, to spice up this blunt, you know my deal. We gon' chill, we gon' heal, we gon' fight the right that's got us ill. So what's your deal? Let's get some deal, to spice up this blunt, you know my deal. We gon' chill, we gon' heal, we gon' fight the right that's got us ill. So I'm putting on for MLK, disrupting buses, but they got delayed The deacons defended those who were not slayed From Zion violent tactics We praise them both today And we thank the Panthers Inspiring Both loving in their community Showing white problems I struggle to put this into song Lines the trauma of the white man divine Anxieties and habits to unwind Unkind Bathing in the blood of the so-called other kind I see the way we whites do half the time I know my ancestors were scared at sea That never again would they see land a tree Displacing bodies so greedily We needed more progress to hide a lack of confidence More and more and more that was the heaven sent So layer after layer, brick after brick Body after body left them ships So make a shift in our thoughts and actions, reckoning is a gift. So what's your deal? Let's get some deal. To spice up this blunt, you know my deal. We gon' chill. We gon' heal. We gon' fight the right that's got us ill. So what's your deal? Let's get some deal. To spice up this blunt, you know my deal. We gon' chill. We gon' heal. We gon' fight the right that's got us ill. So let's make a shift in our thoughts and actions, because I've been taught that reckoning is a gift. So now is what would be a sermon, and I was unable to come up with the words that I wanted to express some of the emotions that I've been feeling in this moment, so I turn to a book that I turn to often in moments of despair, which is White Theology by Dr. Reverend James W. Perkinson, who is doing work out in the beautiful, urban, decaying city of Detroit. So blessings from here, from Leipzig to Detroit. So I'll be reading some sections of Perkinson's work and the way that he 
is just so ecstatic and loving and I hope I can transmit some of his spirit to all of you. What would be required for whites and especially males who have formed within themselves the kind of vital ferocity necessary to struggle lifelong against the powers and privileges that whiteness constantly leverages in and around them? The obvious resource is the community that has had no choice but such a struggle. But it is possible for white people to relate to the expressions of black power in such a way that they are simultaneously warned away from one gesture of appropriation and initiated into their own powers of anti-racist responsibility. It is not a question of wholesale repudiation of cultural borrowing because such is impossible but rather a sustained self-confrontation and self-exploration on the one hand, and a public acknowledgement and economic return to the black community on the other. We must commiserate with what we borrowed. For white people, the functional equivalent of such baptismal reprogramming is a lifelong self-discipline and self-confrontation in the existential schools of racial encounter. Inculcating a different habit of perception, enabled to see and feel the significance of the entire system of supremacy that boils down to the such intangible weight under the skin of adverse equality. Before there can be cognition of a new possibility, there is a need for deeply felt consternation inside the problem. The problem is a code of absolute differentiation habituated deep inside the white body that requires sustained confrontation and interior work. I personally get knocked down often and depressed readily in my own small sphere of confrontation. But I have learned how to get up again and again and again from the very particular friends and very spe specific communities I am a part of. They are mostly darker skinned than I. I take that to be an indication that other half of the name that is this culture still tries to name the problem. That other name might just be something like inspiration or even salvation. If we ever get to the point in this world where white people could embrace a black messiah. Remember that a black messiah has always been the most feared thing for the FBI. And if we could embrace such a black messiah then we could perhaps finally agree to co-sign those two fictions about color to the dustbin of history. Until then, my honor will continue to take its orientation from what comes like a thief cloaked in the night. Thank you. And as we fly together with hope in our hearts into the next moment, through the present, into the past and the future, because as we know time is not linear, we are going to consider better what time is with a poem titled My Granddad's Granddad and Time. Time, I've got time. Time, time for Laszlo to swing by. Time, time to climb the rooftops. Time, time to clamor amongst the crows calling out, Oh, time, I've got time. I've got time by the ears. I've got time with the in-between. That mushy, zebra sublinal fluid is like the time that I've got. Time, time, ooh-wee time, trapped in a closet. I've got time like slippers in bed. I've got time like I don't gotta get out of my here bed. Time, 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 time. I've got five by five time, minute and hour, second and infinity time, time type time, me type time. This time I was given to me by my granddad and his granddad before time. 
They knew time well, and time was their friend. They made time into time as we know time, that old friend. That time we know is time unfolding, time as sequence, time as linear, time as geometric simplicity. Before my granddad's granddad befriended time, time was quite different. Time was, 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 time was coming back around. Now time goes, but I ain't seen time come back none. I just got time, time in my pocket. Time by the three strikes on an hour on the church clock. Time, 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 time. Two hands taking the duty of turning, coming back around. Metal turns now, but not time. Time ain't got no sounds. Time ain't got no sound more profound than the beating of a heart. Imagine that for dark matter, time is as we know space. Begins in dark matter to move through time. Time moves, time slithers, time slips through fingers. Time lost but not found, time buried in the ground, time in outer space. We can connect the dots of time trying to find commonplace. Time is run to rotating rituals, time is rotund routines, time is slippery slim, time tautological time. Unsound, nothing more profound. As Cornel West says, we see the problem when you're romantic. You think that time is lost, time as a taker. But I want to stress time as a gift and time as a giver. And so moving with time, our third hymnal tonight is titled Snake Skin. And many of you, I hope we can shed that skin together. I'm trying to trace my anxieties, trace what's inside of me, trace how society influences my body and my mind so I can start new habits. Most words I write are after a difficult night but usually sitting around smoking on cabbage. And I don't know how myself got this battered, but I hope today is the beginning of new patterns. And like Saturn, I need a new father figure. Over ordering my life has got me disfigured. So when dysfunction and chaos inevitably hits, I go to the ground like a touch from one punch kid. So I ask, what's it even mean to function? I want to mother myself. I want to cuddle myself, get into my feelings and say that everything is okay. But my analytical side says that's being lazy. So I stay hard on myself, giving myself wealth for every time I weep. On my knees praying, Lord, please help me for a better day. And so for all of us, I pray, go for that self-love, go for that self-love. Go for that self-love, go for that self-love. Cause I know that at first it's tough, cause being tough on yourself feels like a must. And when you cry it feels like a bust, but you can be soft to the touch, like pruny fingers in water. I have realized that to cuddle is not to coddle. We've all got a small child inside. And each adult is allowed to cry. You can embrace it out of that snake skin you slide. Cause my friend, you don't have to hide. I pierce myself with these words, fragmented my world. As I try to pick up the pieces and uncurl like a flower, I unfurl into beauty, into breath. Yes, thankful for those that have nourished me instead of giving me over to death. To all of you, I bless. Go for that self-love, go for that self-love, go for that self-love, go for that self-love, go for that self-love. And we can find that community we need, cause oftentimes we need more than just me. Can y'all feel me? Cause sometimes you keep on falling, that boulder too heavy, you gotta keep pressing on and a friendly hand can help you levy the tides. It's not a compromise but a necessity, I hope they are there for you like they've been there for me. Even though some humans will make you feel crazy, find the ones for you and hold them tightly. 
Tell them you love them. And even if it chokes you up, cause the tides are like emotions, they come and go, the highs and the lows, the highs and the lows. Blessings on blessings, everyone's manifesting. I still got a lot of self-hate, that's my confession. Blessings on blessings, everyone's manifesting. I still got a lot of self-hate, that's my confession. And that's why, in these rough times, I can still sing. Go for that self-love. Go for that self-love. Go for that self-love. Go for that self-love. Blessings on blessings. Everyone's manifesting. I still got a lot of self-hate. That's my confession. Blessings on blessings. Everyone's manifesting. I still got a lot of self-hate. That's my confession. So I hope that we can all go for that self-love, despite the self-hate we still may harbor. And I'm just going to flow into this fourth hymn, which is titled, We Will Stand. America is a fascist nation. Are you with the love? or the hatred. The pallid folks will surely hate this. They can't believe that black lives are sacred. So we come at them now with stones and broken hearts, open wounds six inches from the start. That's the basis, so flip the script, see the matrix. We're freedom fighters from Minneapolis to Leipzig. I'm a Philly kid with the brass on my knuckles. Fuck they taxes, we won't pay for your wars, there's no more caskets. America ain't the champ, it's the chump, so let's turn this patty into a chum bucket. I'm here to cause ruckus, I'm on my fuck shit, might throw a few punches at Nazi faces. But I also believe in tender care, I'm here with the people, were you there? My lord's prayer, a litany for survival, my forebears, a group of liars. I grew up in the middle class Maya, it's a dire battle to perish this empire. So let's help each other paddle, we parody the pie on this travel, sharing minds. That's the apple with the crust that's not fragile, so good that it'll rattle you to the bones. And shake you to your toes, feel the passion and the flow, together on the boat after the revolution to the next world we go. I'm on my John Brown shit, all my brothers Malcolm, let's link hands, it's the rainbow plan. All my John Brown shit, all my brothers Malcolm, let's link hands, it's the rainbow plan. My aim is to cause nightmares for the billionaires. We know they could get food and water everywhere, but they don't care, so put them in the electric chair and pass out their money for health and welfare. Oh yeah. We can do this. They got names and addresses, don't be a fool, kid. They bleed just like us, but afraid to show it. And let this be the last notice. We come in cloaked, unnoticed. And this is the beginning to burn down the plantation. With the beginning and the end, we become kin. Because I'm a knight to rewrite and fix past sins. And this is a fight I know that we can win. All my John Brown shit. All my sisters, Angela, let's link hands, it's the rainbow plan, we're here to stand. Against the war, against black breath. I'm on my John Brown shit. All my sisters, Angela, let's link hands, it's the rainbow plan. And the black woman divine. And to know this truth, I gotta rewind and change what's in my mind. I'm thanking the Black Panthers for giving us a plan. We got ten steps to complete, and the man. Thank the Anarchadas, they truth is like water, we need them for life, it's the start of everything. In this multiverse together, this the deacons for defense, never will we settle. All my John Brown shit, all my people queer, it's the rainbow plan. I'm on my John Brown shit, all my brothers Malcolm, all my sisters Angela, all my people queer, it's the rainbow plan, we're here to stand for black life. Let's finally make this world into something nurturing. And so for some closing words, I'm going to turn to Dr. Alexis Pauline Gump's poem called, titled Mothering. I know that this has been in a long and perhaps very emotional journey for all of you as it has been for me. So thank you for being here with us 
and let us come back to this work of love, of community, mothering, an investment in the future that requires a person to change the status quo of their own lives, of their community, and of the society as a whole again and again and again in the practice of affirming, growing, unpredictable people who deserve a world that is better than what we can even imagine. Mothering, an investment in the future that requires a person to change the status quo of their own lives, of their community, and of the society as a whole again and again and again in the practice of affirming, growing, unpredictable people who deserve a world that is better than what we can even imagine. Mothering, an investment in the future that requires a person to change the status quo of their own lives, of their community, and of the society as a whole, again and again and again, in the practice of affirming, growing, unpredictable people who deserve a world that is better than what we can even imagine mothering, an investment in the future that requires a person to change the status quo of their own lives, of their community, and of the society as a whole again and again and again in the practice of affirming growing, unpredictable people who deserve a world that is better than what we can even imagine mothering an investment in the future that requires a person to change the status quo of their own lives, of their community, and of the society as a whole again and again and again in the practice of affirming growing, unpredictable people who deserve a world that is better than what we can even imagine. Thank you for joining me here. Um, I don't know exactly where to start the ending uh, now that we have made it here. Um, I know that Lonica doesn't want me to thank her, but I have to uh, because she made the music here. She made this beautiful kaleidoscope that you are looking through. Um, we thought it would be beautiful uh, to not fully see me, see everything, uh, but to kind of feel the chaoticness, the unpredictableness, the uncertainty that is life coming from so many different angles, different ways that we can look at things. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much. Um, and again, I'm Forrest Cantwell. Um, I'm a Theo poet. I'm an academic. I'd like to think that revolution is research and revolution is breathing and caring um, and that we can do those things together. Um, if anyone has any questions, I would love to answer them um, and I will read them back. Um, Thank you again all so much for being here. I will wait a few more minutes and let this beautiful bass line play out if no one has any more questions. I will log off in a couple minutes. Hi, um, Sophia Leon the Lion. Hi, Sophia. You ask, how do you think we can embody the practice of mothering in everyday life? That's an amazing question. Thank you so much. Wow. Um, for me, sometimes this practice of mothering is pushing into 
uncomfortability or at least feeling out where that uncomfortability is and see if it's a space that I should flow into or that really the space I'm flowing into is actually the space I shouldn't be. Um, and this is something I've been thinking a lot about recently is where are our boundaries um, for ourselves and for those around us. And I know that you just did the Black Feminist Breathing course with Alexis Pauling Gumps, and I just want to say that doing that for anybody would be amazing. But this practice of coming back to your own breathing, not necessarily meditation, um, but more of a feeling of breath in your body. Um, and so really feeling like I'm inhabiting my full self. Um, and this begins to change what is the normal status quo of the things that I'm doing and recognizing that there are always new beautiful practices that I can move into and doing this with my community. So sharing this kind of knowledge that I'm gaining and learning it from other people um, because we, we are this community together. I, I am not one person. I couldn't have done this myself. Um, and so I think recognizing that, um, yeah, that, that there is this interconnectedness um, and that there is more than just the future that we're moving towards, but we're also moving towards the past. Um, and so this is another practice that I've been really working on is thinking with ancestors and trying to see the ancestors, our personal ancestry, the ancestry of the lineage that we feel that we come from as the types of people we are. So the types of artist lineage that we are part of, maybe the research lineage, the dance lineage, the love lineage that you are a part of and trying to flow into that space and let those ancestors mother us and we mother them uh, as well. Again, shout out Artist Book, and I hope many of you are here next week, and I will be tuning in as an audience member. So much love to everyone out there. I hope you embrace self-love tonight, tomorrow, yesterday, and as we move in to everything. Um, and thank you to the Black feminists, because without them, I wouldn't be alive. Thank you.